Hi, I'm Giacomo Panico, a reporter here at CBC Ottawa and the host of In Town and Out, heard Saturday mornings on CBC Radio 191.5 in Ottawa. Today we're going to teach you how to make your very own TV antenna, and with it, you'll be able to catch high-definition signals, all for free. CBC Ottawa broadcasts from Camp Fortune. There's another tower as well near Manatic. And with my trusty little antenna, I can catch 14 stations by placing this up in my attic. Now it's true, you can buy these in the store, but why would you do that when you can make your very own with materials found in your house? So let's get started. Let's take a look at the material we need to make our own antenna. Starting over here, we're gonna need some wire cutters and some pliers. Just an old pair of needle nose will do. We'll need some small screws as well. Just got some number sixes here. And some washers as well. As far as the wiring, I'm using 14 gauge household wiring. This is the ground wire that's in your household electrical stuff. Don't use the live stuff though. Or you can also use coat hangers. But the really important part is that they be stripped of any coating, any insulation. That's gotta all be removed. First thing you're gonna need is a little piece of wood. In this case, a piece of pine, at least three feet long, one by three. And you'll notice I placed my measurements on it. These are very important. It's where we're gonna place some of our whiskers and our ballon in the middle. So notice the dimensions, one and a half inch width, and nine inches for the top, four and a half, four and a half, and another nine inches. And I've already taken the liberty of placing some screws with the washers here. My next step is gonna be placing some of my wire that's gonna connect some of the screws. And the pattern, again, is very important here. We're gonna start at the top, it'll cross over, down, and then cross back. Now I'm not screwing these too far down because I just want to hold this wire in place now. And later on, we're going to be putting our whiskers underneath the washer. Now here's an important point. Where these wires cross, they must not touch. So I'm going to leave enough room on this last one here so that I can pass the other wire underneath it. If they touch, you risk not getting proper reception. And we wouldn't want that. And now for the second part, again here at the top, very important that they not touch. So I'm gonna have this go over top. If you take a look here, you can see making sure to leave enough of a gap there so that they're not coming into contact. Same thing's going to happen at the bottom. And again, right here, we don't want these touching. I'm going to place this one underneath to make sure it doesn't come into contact. And here we are now. We're almost there. We'll get that one wiggled underneath in just a moment. We didn't quite want to fit in just yet. That's where our whiskers are going to go. Now the whiskers can be made with the same 14 gauge wiring. This is household wiring. The shape is important. What you want is a V that each arm is nine and a half inches. You're going to want to measure that. And the distance at the tip four and a half inches. So once again, nine and a half, four and a half here at the tip. You can also use a coat hanger as well. Just make sure it's uh, clear of any rust or any other paint on it as well to get proper reception. And we're gonna sneak our whiskers in underneath most of these screws, but not the center ones. Those are reserved for our ballon.
The whole thing takes a little bit of time, but that's okay. We're going to work hard now and enjoy free hockey night in Canada later. Small little tip, when you're placing your whiskers on, you want to make sure they're coming in good contact with these phase lines. If not, you might not get good reception. See how we're doing here we're almost there we've got our whiskers attached at the top two parts and the bottom two parts just one step left and then we can enjoy the battle of the blades for free i'm going to attach my balun b-a-l-u-n very important part only costs about five dollars at most electronic stores and this is going to convert the signal from the antenna to be acceptable to the back of our television and that's reserved here in the middle part. And there you have it. We finished our own antenna to capture HD signals. One last step now is to connect it to the television. For that, some coaxial cable to connect it here to the back of your TV. Now you need to change the setting on your TV to air in the antenna setting from cable. And then the positioning, that's hugely important. The higher, the better. If you can get this up in your attic, that's great, and you want it facing the tower. So if you're the tower, that's the way I want it pointing. There's websites to help you know where transmission towers are in your area. This will capture from both sides though. So sometimes you can play a little bit if you have two or three antennas or towers in your vicinity. Be aware that if you're running a long cable run more than 50 feet, you may want to look at having an amplifier set up near the antenna. An amplifier will not boost a weak signal, but it will stop a strong signal from becoming weak. That's pretty much it. Have fun making your own antenna, and I hope you enjoy lots of free HDTV, including CBC television. Okay, that's it.